research entomologist of Institute of Zoology of National Academy of Science of Ukraine. And today, January 25th, 2020. And I'm very pleased to continue this stream with a story about Japanese approach to entomology and nature and insects. And this part of my stream, the third part of stream, devoted to love of Japanese entomologists and amateurs to insects and to love of beetles and might be part of life as well. So what love of beetles, it can be named as a beetle mania, beetle mania. So many Japanese like small, tiny, huge beetles like the pets. And for that, I will be reading for you a special article which is published by Akira Kawahara, which was former student of the University of Maryland, but now he's probably already became just well-known entomologist in states. So, but this is another story. So, and his article is devoted to beetles, not the beetles, about love of entomologists and amateurs, how to collect, how to collect insects, and how and Japanese entomologists and amateurs collecting insects and how they enjoy insects in Japan. And what's about the love to beetle? What's about beetle money in Japan? Well, I will read the article. Within the past 10 or 15 years, beetles were breeding and rearing, and it became very, very extremely popular in Japan. There are at least 300,000 beetles, beetle, breedy, beetle breeding fans, lovers of beetles, 300,000, enormous number in the country, in Japan. For example, uh, for example, one of my friends, Japanese friend, who uh, rears dung beetles as a hobby, and he's stockpiled dung from various animals in Ziploc bags in his freezer at home. During the summer, he collects fresh dung in the local farms to breed his pet beetles, and he keeps frozen dung for his until winter. And each time he breeds his beetles, he he throws out the tongue, throw, throw out the, uh, the tongue. His wife was very supportive for his hobby, and until one day, he took out one of his zip, she took out one of his Ziploc bags, opened it and pulled out what he was thought was a ground beef. He was luckily she didn't ask for divorce. He was forced to buy a separate freezer for his dung collection. Well, so there's uh, enormous enthusiasm. Live look and eat stag beetles are also highly prized, especially foreign species and most of the genus Dorcus. Foreign species have become so popular that Japanese collectors occasionally caught in the other countries for the illegal collecting and smuggling beetles. Smuggling beetles. So after import restrictions for beetles, which were eased in 1991 when the plant protection law was revised, hundreds of thousands of beetles have been brought into Japan annually. In 2002, about 100 species from 25 countries, totally more than 600,000 beetles were imported. So can you imagine 600,000 beetles from 25 countries were imported? And Japan allowed the import of 500 beetle species in 2004. The Japanese government allowed beetles to be legally imported because it was assuming that tropical species have little chance to survive in the temperate Japan. A species which can continue to fascinate beetle enthusiasts, then this is domestic leucanid beetle, Dorcus curvidens, which is becoming increasingly rare in Japan. Due to his large bandibles and body size, live captive breed males of Dorcus curvidens are usually valued between 30 to 200 dollars, US dollars, depending on their size. Although details remaining 
somewhat unclear. On some occasion, a leaf male of Dorcus corvidens specimens over eight, eight, 80 millimeters long was believed to have sold for 10 million yens, which is approximately 90,000 American dollars as it was reported in 1991, 1990. The bed beetle was apparently bred by amateur breeder in Fukui Prefecture, brought to insect specialty shop in Tokyo, and it was sold to an unidentified 36 years old president of a Japanese communication company. To avoid media attention, the parties supposed secretly met in karaoke cubicles to make the transaction. At one point, these black diamonds were worth so much that collectors took out bank loans to buy a single beetle, and burglars were reported to have broken into insect stores in Tokyo and stolen. 67 worth of beetles, and it was happening in 1999. In response to such demand, many collectorists developed specialized techniques to grow large beetles in captivity. For example, there are leucanid rub rearing jars containing fungi called kinshibin, which is availability in department stores, which are available in department stores along with the large bags of a beetle dirt. These bags of dirt typically containing oak chips, dung and fungi. The price for one kilo of this bag ranges anywhere between four to twenty-five dollars depending on the quality of a dung and dirt. A substance similar to oak sap is sold in small bottles as individually sealed jellies jelly food for adults. Beetle jelly, such as Orcus jelly, are manufactured to help beetles live longer. Such jellies contain approximately cost 12 American dollars for a large bag. Other beetles, beetle jellies such as a hyper jelly, power up jelly, wellness jelly, jelly, which are presumably for lethargic beetles, who has a sleeping period or the wintering period. Some varieties containing high amount of protein and are produced solely from female beetles so that they will lay many large eggs. Spray bottles containing pheromones can also be purchased and sprayed on the elytra of female beetles, which stimulates males to copulate. Other tools for beetles include Tons of design for to pick up grubs, scent removal powder and sheets and tough brush designed to remove mites from beetle sterna. There is a plethora of literature on breeding leucanid le beetles and scarab beetles that focuses strictly on techniques for care, breeding and measurements of these nice bread beetles. Breed, which are breeding in laboratory conditions. Many of the standard beetle rearing supplies are available from insect specialty shops in Japan, but can also be purchased from the pet section in common and ordinary Japanese department stores. The price of beetles has declined over the last several years, mainly due to the number of beetle suppliers and improved techniques and resources for rearing large beetles but some rare beetles are still quite expensive. For example, one friend in Japan, he actually, one, my friend in Japan, he bought a Ferrari car several years ago with the money he saved from selling beetles to his beetle story, in his beetle story. Maybe some someday caterpillars and maggots will be rough as much as the Japanese look on it rubs as well. So, what we can conclude? The insect theme can be found all over Japan today, on children, video games, books, candies, which are sold in convenience stores and 
pet beetles in the department stores. Japanese children are educated carefully about insects throughout the reading, watching television programs, displaying the insect-related toys and video games, and from collecting insects in the nature and breeding them in laboratory or home conditions. When these children become adults, they help teach their children about entomology and the interest in entomology continues to generations. Unfortunately, do not have the same place in other countries or, for example, in American department stores and there are relatively few toys or video games which promote entomological education. American children frantically reading books on entomology in a uh, book story. Having lived, Arthur said, but for example, Arthur lived in uh, both countries, in sta States and in America, he believed that Society, American society often portrays, American society often portrays insects as being scary, gross, and creepy, which is in many cases is misleading and scientifically inaccurate. Re re reality television shows with disgusted participants who are forced to eat bugs and it do not help to teach public, general public about natural history. Not to Hollywood films depicting mother, actually. No, for example, the Hollywood films depicting monsters, insects, and arachnids. And it's, of course, do not help to educate children and their parents uh, to the love of insects, and arachnids, and invertebrates. As American entomologists and educators working, actually, they, can, they should change the general misleading perception that frequently surrounds insects in America. Negative perceptions associated with insects often develop through a lack of understanding about insects. Many of children are brainwashed during their formative years to believe that they are, should be stayed away, away from insects. The American entomologist Harold Evans once wrote, Biased we are, for most of us are brainwashed in childhood against anything devoted of, of hair or fevers. Even a mature and thoughtful man, imbued and reverence of living things, have not quite the same feeling for beetle that we have for a queer squirrel. There are certainly American children who are eager to learn about insects and American books and movies which help to educate children about entomology. However, it's hard to compare American children to Japanese children who will fight to rub to beetle as soon as they see it. Children have an innate curiosity to learn about natural history. It is imperative that we aid their curiosity and teach them about the subject as it introduces a child to biodiversity, scientific experimentation, and the basic of life. In the recent article about insect culture in Japan, American entomology, entomologist Eric Laurent wrote, Japanese children learn every eagerly, for instance, that fireflies, rhinoceros beetles, and other creatures appear and then die during the limited period of year. Insects give children concrete material for their experimental dialogue with nature and introduce them to biological diversity. An insect's relatively short lifespan also teaches them about ontogenetic development and the cycles of life. So we can say that educating children about biodiversity is especially critical as we are facing a biodiversity crisis and more organisms are becoming extinct than even before. Insects are one of the most diverse group of, on this planet Earth, but we are never know what existed when they disappeared when it disappears. 
Figuring out understanding of insect biodiversity requires countless taxonomical specialists to look through microscopes and students training in taxonomy. Unfortunately, for example, doctor degrees in, in all fields in systematics have declined in the United States through the latest years. And in few undergraduate programs, teaches taxonomy. And it's much easier for children to become an insect taxonomist when insects are accepted and then are integrated as a part of culture. Overcollecting in Japan has certainly led to numerous problems, but collecting is one of the main reasons why Japan is excelled in entomology, especially taxonomy. With a reasonably conservational agenda in mind, we must continue providing nets to our children as direct observation and exposure are the best way to educate children about insects and natural history. We rely on our teaching entomology to future generations. And further, the science of entomology in all countries around will be developing and prosper and becoming common and well developed in states and abroad. This is a short article about or long article about insects, about entomology and insects and nature perception in Japanese society, which was published by Japanese uh, American entomologist Akito Kawahara with Japanese origin in 2007, and I was very pleased to read it. So if you are interested in the origin article, I will put here the link, not the link, but the description of this article, the name and the, and the title of this article under this video. And of course, I will continue to read and tell you my stories about entomology, about insects in my future streams and my future videos. I will tell you about nature, insects, arachnids, butterflies, and so on. And so don't forget to subscribe on my channel, press likes and write your comments, and press like and also on this bell in this part of your screen. You will receive notice, notifications, you will receive notifications about my future videos on entomology and insects. So, and of course, this video in English for English speaking, English hearing, and English reading entomologist, but if you are from Russian speaking society, follow this, uh, my channel, I will tell these stories about Japanese insects also in the Russian language in my other streams or in my other recorded videos. And thank you for your watching of this video and press like, write your comments and ask your questions and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Bye bye and see you soon on my channel. And this was Viktor Fursov with my entomological net, my assistant Tosha, 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 this toy terrier, not a bug, but very tiny, like a bug, like a beetle, like a beetle. So this is uh, my beetle money toy, which I love very much. Okay, thank you for watching. See you soon on my channel, a subscriber. Bye-bye.